101 Jams, number one for classics in today's hip-hop and R&B. Home of Cheryl Underwood Radio and the Rise and Grind Morning Show. It's Sir Charles. Miss Max. And we have Quentin Harrell, Yolanda Harrell, mm-hmm. and Andrea Whitsett. How are you doing today, my fine people? <laughs> doing Welcome. well. Doing, doing well. great. Thank you for having us. What's up? <laughs> so, um, so, we, so we brought you in here today because this is uh, the third installment of the Black Love Symposium mm-hmm. that's coming up. Is that correct? Correct. And and so um so go ahead and just let our listeners know um you know what the Black Love Symposium is about. We had you guys on before, and uh, and we know this is a great celebration of Black love in all its and aspects. Like black love. That's right. And and so um just uh, just let the listeners know uh you know uh, the background of why you're doing part three. Well, first of all, Max yeah. Razor and Big Homie Charles, thank you for having us on the show. Thank you. you. Know thank you. Know you. Absolutely. To come up here. And uh, so we're very happy to come out and share with you about the Black Love Symposium. It's something it's something that um, we've always talked about. Um, it's funny, me, Yolanda, uh, Andrea, and Bernard were having dinner one night, and we were just talking about, you know, just married couples out on the town. Mm-hmm. And uh, the idea emerged from just talking about the value of black love, black marriage, and okay. uh, the importance of a strong black family in the community. Mm-hmm. And we said, hey, man, we need to get together and talk about some of these things that we talk about. And not only just being married, but we were all single at one point. Mm-hmm. And, and we have a whole lot of opinions and a whole lot of insights and a whole lot of challenges and things that we've had as singles, mm-hmm. as well mm-hmm. as as married couples Mm -hmm. but there's just a lot of value in strengthening the community when communicating about black love black families in the black community Mm. gotcha gotcha now um so we don't miss it the black love symposium is coming up now where is that going to be held um and uh like and and yolanda go go ahead and give us sort of the background of of what's what's gonna uh, be different about part three Absolutely. Well, this time, uh, one of the things that we always try to do is to uh, not only do we want to have a a great experience, but we also want to do it in different places to uh, help our community become more exposed to some of the different options out there. Mm -hmm. So uh, this time we're going to be holding the Black Love Symposium at the Commonwealth, uh, excuse me, at the Common House, Mm -hmm. which is on... uh, at 206 uh, East Market Street. Okay. Uh, uh, back in the day, back when uh, Vinegar Hill was a, a thriving uh, black uh, uh, hub for mm-hmm. businesses as well as uh, the black community, this was uh, Old Mentor Lodge. And so it was mm. the social gathering spot for uh, the individuals that lived in that community. Mm-hmm. Nice. And so that has now been uh, uh, turned into a new uh, a social gathering spot and it's called Common House so we'll be meeting uh, downstairs in Vinegar Hall uh, and so we're excited to be able to to bring that as a, as a new option uh, there will be uh, there's upstairs on the second floor there's uh, food there's alcohol mm. and because it's a Friday night <laughs> they'll have a DJ there so it'll be a great opportunity for you to get your drink get your eat, right. say no more get, get your talco <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so free, so man. I don't know they if you. Free. Oh, there you go. So I, I, I don't I don't know if you said the date, the time. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah that would be important, yeah. wouldn't it? Uh, so that is coming up this Friday, uh, okay. uh, December the first. It's mm-hmm. going to be from six thirty to eight thirty, and of course, you are welcome to hang out at Common House uh, afterwards to enjoy the sights and sounds. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, I I am looking forward to this. I, I missed the ones before now. You know, and I like how you, Charles and Max, everybody's so professional and whatnot. And then I'm like, okay, all right, food to look all right. And then everybody kind of loosened up a little bit. <laughs> they dressed up all night. I said, oh, yeah, this going to be something nice. So all of Charlottesville, if you're looking for something to do, stop complaining that there's nothing here. This is for you. You know, they went out of their way. They're putting it in a historic place. This is something that you need to support so that we can have one next year mm-hmm. and the year after that. You know, we can start our own history. Mm-hmm. If you support it, that's so, all Razor got to say. So I'm interested in some of the things that you guys talk about. Can you toss out any of those those topics of discussion? Oh, absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely. I'll, I'll start off, and then we'll pass it to 
uh, hostess of the most is that when we first started. There you go. She did the fantastic job of uh, fielding a whole bunch of questions that um, we posed to the, we posed to, we put together a panel. Mm -hmm. um, the panel is con con consists of a diverse group. Okay. Um, we choose a married couple that's been married for maybe 40 plus years. Mm. We choose a young couple or newlywed couple, and then we choose um, a, a male and a female single, so that we can get a rich, a rich um, discussion uh, about black relationships amongst these uh, amongst these folks. And mm. they and what they can do is share um, wisdom amongst each other and share wisdom amongst the group. So we may pose a question to the uh, group like, um, "What's your definition of intimacy?" And it would be so fantastic, so fascinating, the answers that you get from different people mm -hmm. because different people's perspectives, um, not only from um, uh, from an uh, from an age point of view, but from a cultural point of view, mm -hmm. um, really, you really get some good answers, and you get some things that people really have not considered mm. so that's just one answer and and uh with the hostess of the most has been the one that uh, <laughs> you know really really uh you know set the tone for the for the um for the the, the conversation i'll pass it to her okay miss andrea hi hello how are hi. you all <laughs> well good. thanks thanks for joining us good thank you for having us always a pleasure yeah. So, um, so Andrew, let, let the people know uh, your part in, that that you play uh, with the Black Love Symposium and what you're looking forward to. Yeah. Um, as as Q shared, yeah, we were having just like a couples dinner and just talking about uh, what what I recognize as a fairly young married woman is. Um, mm -hmm. I was lacking the support needed to navigate this thing called marriage. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, <clears throat> when you're in love, that's all great and fine and dandy. But then once you get married, while you still love that individual, things happen. Mm -hmm. So um, just sitting mm -hmm. down with Yolanda and Quentin and talking about things that just being with another married couple and mm -hmm. sharing things um some some personal things but just supporting one another was was great mm -hmm. and as he shared uh, out of that was birthed the black love symposium okay. and what was your question Charles? i'm sorry yeah. no just, i was just I'm saying just going on. no no you're good you're good thank you and i was saying uh, <laughs> uh what you're looking forward to uh just to give a reason for that you think the people should come out oh absolutely so and uh, did you all mention that this is for singles as well Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. So, yeah, so we'll reiterate that this is for singles, those looking for love, those who may be out of love, who have just come out of a relationship that didn't mm -hmm. uh, end very well. It's for all those individuals who are wanting to understand better black love, who are wanting to support black love and just celebrate black love. Mm -hmm. And being part of that, whether I am uh, moderating it or just participating, is is um either role is very important to me so i'm just looking forward to the third one i missed the second one but looking forward to the third one because this one is going to be moderated by uh one of our brothers you know mm -hmm. ahmaud hawkins and okay ball hawk. Ball hawk. Yeah, ball hawk. Ah! <laughs> there we go <laughs> nice and, nice and women we have we will talk we don't mind talking and sharing but we also want to hear from our brothers and we're hoping more brothers will feel comfortable there in making themselves vulnerable and mm -hmm. just share just mm -hmm. share there you go. Charles, you're married. I can learn a lot from you mm -hmm. as a married individual and, and Razor and who and, and some other good brothers, Q and, and all the other brothers who are married. Mm -hmm. and, and we can also learn from the single brothers just right. hearing hearing about what are they looking for? What does black love mean to them? Mm -hmm. How do they celebrate black love? So everybody's viewpoint mm -hmm. is very, very important, whatever stage of uh, of mm -hmm. life you're in as far as a relationship is concerned. Yeah, and mm -hmm. as far as that call for the brothers to brothers, show up and come out. Q, Q and Yolanda, what, what was that number one takeaway that y'all told me that, that the ladies wanted? That the ladies wanted. Go ahead. Number one takeaway? Yeah, that the ladies wanted from for the symposium when it comes to the brothers. So at the end of every at the end of every symposium, what we do, we collect your information, we send out emails, and we do a survey. Um, not only in the survey, but also at the end of the actual first event when we had so much fun together and we have these games and we, you know, we just we just have a, a good old time. But the biggest takeaway was, hey, 
we need to see more brothers up in here. Mm-hmm. The you ladies know? are there, fellas. <laughs> yeah, man. Yo, man. Where y'all don't at? Sleep, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> don't sleep. <laughs> look, look, man. Serious though. Don't sleep. There are some wonderfully talented, uh, well situated women out here, black women. <laughs> Who are really no, no, right? situated. <laughs> you like that? Situated. <laughs> yeah. That really are looking for companionship. Mm-hmm. You know, and simple and simple as that. So um the the, the last one that we had uh, had a brother in there that was very vocal and had some opinions about women and, mm-hmm. and, and, and and it was just wonderful to have a lot of professional women in there and down to earth women that were like, Oh, oh, oh brother, where you get that idea from? <laughs> Is he still with us? <laughs> <laughs> or do I need to take a moment of silence? <laughs> <laughs> no, he made it through. He made it through, man. It's been a, you know, that's one thing about this symposium, it's all love. So yeah. it, it's just wonderful the uh the wealth of knowledge that, that gets exchanged exchanged amongst each other and we all end up um, leaving with something and eat we end up leaving with, uh, a bit stronger mm-hmm. uh, one mm-hmm. one of the things that we do amongst in, in addition to playing games is is like we collect wisdom notes throughout mm-hmm. the the whole discussion so at the end we're going to go over these notes because everybody's dropping you once they get warmed up and people mm-hmm. feel comfortable mm-hmm. and know that we all down the earth and we just chilling we amongst family People start dropping nuggets of knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it's just yeah. so fantastic because mm-hmm. that's the main purpose of this. The purpose is to strengthen us, mm-hmm. strengthen our community. That's mm-hmm. the main purpose. And just and we can do that and have fun, right. exchange wisdom, and have fun as well. I think that's a fantastic thing. So, yeah. you know, we, we really and we're really glad that uh, and uh in my humble opinion is in in with us now and yeah, supporting us you. because we, we really see that we can uh we 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 are talking about a black love uh party mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in two thousand eighteen. You know, so we we we're planning on that but we just hope that people will come out. Um glad to have uh Ball Hawk come out with us on December first 6.30 to 9.30. We may push it a little longer if y'all come out and y'all having fun. Mm-hmm. But we're really looking forward to gaining traction and, and using this for something that, that really strengthens our community. I mm-hmm. can't say that enough. Right. Yeah. Well, I think you what you're doing is awesome. We don't have anything like that around here. No. So a place where we can come together and mingle and support each other and talk about issues that are important to, um, to, to all of us, then you know, Indeed. I'm with that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And, and, uh, and, and just as, as we close, y'all, make sure you let them know the date and the time again. Again, and um, make sure they know about BP and Seville. Speaking of uh, love, I know this is about love, about loving yourself as well, loving the community. So the BPN, that's you know, that's the head sponsor for this. Please just just do a quick drop about what the BPN is about, and again, let the people know when and where. All right. So BPN Seville is uh, the Black Professional Network. Our main mission is to just expand the connections for Black people in this community to enhance. Uh, cultural, educational, um, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, economic, economic, <laughs> economic uh, just economic expansion. Just strengthening the community by building. We build this platform for African Americans to come together, convene on different levels to support each other, mm-hmm. encourage each other, and connect each other to 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 the larger community. Okay. Um, the said something there what yeah guys? just just remind them one more time of the location uh date and time december, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, december 1st at the common house right off the downtown mall um if you got you have any questions uh typically we'll we'll um we'll we'll start sending out uh facebook questions like um Andrea does a great job of sending out those little those little, little black love questions to get us going for the week. Mm-hmm. But so look look for us on um, BPN uh, on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got an event right. You can go on. You can register. Tickets are free. Hey, December first, free ninety nine, baby. It's, it's a good <laughs> free. Nine. Yeah, free ninety nine is a good. It's a good good deal. Good deal. I know. Right. I know we're supposed to be wrapping up, and um, let me stay. Let me stay focused, but yeah, if you have any questions, you can send an email to bpncville uh, at Mm -hmm. Mm gmail.com, or you can send something to, uh, in my humble opinion, that's right, website. That's right, IMHO 101 Jams. Yeah, yeah, so I'm plugging, I'm plugging it. I made sure as well. 630 to 930. 630 to 930. Thank you, thank you. You know, 
Thanks for helping us, walking us along. <laughs> We're supposed to be giving the information. Y'all got to help us out. We appreciate it. That's right. That's right. So, yes, y'all stay posted on BPNCville and IMHO 101 Jams. And uh, Miss Andrea, Miss Yolanda, yes. Mr. Quentin, thank you all for all you thank do. You. Please keep thank it up. you. Thank you all. Yeah, thank because you with all. the work keep you're doing. Keep your good work. Thank you. Nobody can say there's nothing for us in Seville mm-hmm. because of the work that you guys are doing. Can't thank you enough. That's right. All right.